There's nothing left to do but sing. There's nothing left to do but sing. I woke up this morning and my soul crawled up my skin and whispered in my ear the revolution starts within but without justice in this world my poetry seems paper thin like how we gonna enlighten when we watch our children dying how you gonna fight the man if you're fighting to survive and how we gonna find the truth when all we knew was lies and all we know about standing up for life is seeing fallen angel spirits rising and why then do we need another goddamn poem about revolution because it's bigger than a stage and much bigger than those mics and somewhere in the world a girl is counting stars and grains of rice and praying hard to save her life and pain and strife are the only cards she had to play with and somewhere in Haiti a mother's counting her dead children and somewhere in New England and another's counting multi-millions and somewhere in Chicago, a broken soul grows old in prison. And somewhere in Colombia, the land's too poisonous to live in. And people live there. And somewhere in the world, landmines and pipelines, crack pipes and high rises circumvent the land like lines designing poems of hell. <coughs> Printing futures we will never understand until our ancestors become our children. And somewhere in Africa, someone is listening to God through television and praying to paper dolls and holy God draped in white skin with eyes fixed on heaven. They never look down to see their own wings. And somewhere in the suburbs, someone got an SUV for Christmas and his son forgot to do the dishes. But somewhere baby sisters wake to the hot ring of nails, scraping rib cages, holding hearts hostage in the forgotten regions of the projects and somewhere someone's watching their life bleed out their eyes and someone's trying to survive and right now we're letting hope dry up and die and right now another 10 million poems about revolution might not bring it back to life but there's nothing left to do but try. A caged bird can sing even if she can't fly. So I write, I write, I write revolutions with my pen. Cause right now, the amount of bling the U.S. spends on Hollywood, pet food, cosmetics, and bombs would be enough to stop AIDS, cough up reparations, and feed away starvation right now. A girl sleeps afraid of the shadows below her door and the weight of the world thrust in her. Right now, cold fingers flinch, paper cups and casualties display missing limbs at busy intersections waiting for the light to turn red again. Right now, West Africa's orphans are calling freedom, carving platinum into chains and shackles extracted from their mother's veins by their cousin's newfound slavery. Right now on the G-train, an indigenous woman is force-feeding her newborn formula because her nation's breast was drained by Texaco and there was nowhere left to go but underground. Railroads into sweatshops in this land of opportunity. Opportunity. Nah, cause right now in West Philly, a born and raised stranger is pushing his pain between the legs of an angel, pissing his name off her face to prove he still exists. Right now kids are misplacing anger and bullet holes and our saviors are growing old in the silent regions of our consciousness and this poem is not supposed to be depressing. Cause somewhere in the world, a newborn is taking her first breath in. Somewhere, someone is caressing the face of their first love and someone is dancing despite the hunger. And sometimes I dream in colors our eyes haven't even learned to see yet. I dream peace. Is peeled off every banner and bumper sticker and swallowed like hard candy until we could all feel it deep within us. 
I dream. Justice is pulled down from tree limbs and freedoms untangled from purse strings. And we all trust each other, enough to help each other, enough to love each other in colors we couldn't even dream of. And we need dreams now and love songs, manifestos, and holy texts, and yes, another goddamn poem about revolution. For those that didn't hear the first set or get to feel it on their own breath, we've been running revolutions just to catch up to our footsteps, revolving, drawing circles in the sand to find the center when we haven't looked inside yet. But each poem means there's hope yet. Cause yes, yes, our revolution begins from that same place within us where we find the strength to sing. And for every one of us struggling, it means another one of us is alive. And every bleeding heart means another seed of God is surviving. Every sunrise reminds us that the times come. If the revolution starts inside us, I pray our stomachs will start turning. And the whole world will have to hold each other's heads as we throw up our arms and, and surrender to the beauty that surrounds us, despite the hatred that compounds us. If the revolution begins within, I pray we could live without our skin. So our light would flood the universe with universal blood. And then, if every one of us could love, every one of us could love, every one of us could love, then there'd be nothing left to do but sing. Thank you.